Hi, I'm Chris Hewson. I'm a research ecologist um, here at the BTO. I work in the international research team uh, where a lot of our work is um, looking at declines in migrant birds. Um, because of that, I actually got the opportunity to go out with the project to Ghana last winter, um, where amongst other things, we were looking for garden warblers, um, which happens to be one of my um, favorite, favorite migrants. Um, I actually studied them for my PhD um, so I'm a bit disappointed that they're currently in the middle of a population decline and I think we've lost one in every five of our garden warblers in the last 30-40 years. Um, so yeah, we'll be really interested um, to try and find out what's going on and what might be the causes of the declines. One of the reasons why um, we went to Ghana um, this winter when we were doing some field work looking for migrants was because we've had um, almost 10 I think it is recoveries of British breeding garden warblers um, found in the middle of the winter in Ghana so we were hoping that when we went there we'd find quite a good population of them but one thing we noticed was that um, the habitat wasn't really um, suitable we couldn't find the sort of fallow farmland and secondary woodland uh, where you'd expect to find them in the dense scrubby habitats um, at all commonly in the areas where we looked um, and our, our colleagues from the Ghana Wildlife Society have told us that these are exactly the sorts of habitats that have disappeared from Ghana um, in the last 15 or 20 years. So it's quite possible that um, habitat loss because of uh, intensification of farming, so people basically leaving fields for less time before they replant them, and also um, secondary woodland being converted to cropland. Um, th this, these sorts of processes by an increasing human population could actually uh, be contributing to the declines of the garden warblers. Um, we did actually find some birds um, in scrubland on the coast. But obviously this habitat's you know, quite a restricted one. Um, so yeah, we're just we're very interested to find out where our garden warblers are going and what sort of habitats they're using and how processes operating in Africa are um, altering the amount of habitat that's available for garden warblers. Um, out of Africa appeal is um, obviously an important part of that. Um, so with a, there's a whole variety of different projects uh, that we're doing which will involve Garden Warbler. Obviously the big transit pro project where we're um, surveying birds all the way from the Sahel down to the coastal zone in Ghana um, is, is an important part of that because we do know that Garden Warblers use all of the different habitats from the edge of the desert down to the rainforest zone at different parts of the winter, different times of the winter. When they come straight over from Spain and Portugal um, they tend to spend a little bit of time in the Sahel um, feeding up after their journey across the desert um, before they gradually move further south as the winter gets um, drier and the habitats further north become less hospitable for them. So I think for anyone who uh, enjoys the, the sound of birdsong, um, garden warblers is likely to be one of their favourite birds and um, I think it's really important that if people want to make sure that we can hear these, these sort of songs in the future um, we, can do, we can find out what's going on and why it may be causing their declines and obviously contributing to the Out of Africa appeal uh, is, is one way that people can help make sure that we do our best to, to determine what's going on with garden warblers and other migrants and uh, what might be the causes of their current population declines.